Townhouses in Calgary saw a little dip there from November to January, but we're right back on track to see some increases in 2024. I would imagine townhouses are going to be pretty wild to watch this year, so let's strap in. My name is Adam Fife, your Calgary Realtor. If you are planning on getting into the Calgary real estate market, it is never too early to start having conversations. I have a lot of conversations with people who are not planning on getting into the market for 6 to 12 to 24 months. It's so important to realize that re building relationships and trying to develop trust with one another is very important especially in such a crazy market like this so if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out the call link is in the description so in the last 30 days for townhouses this is very enjoyable for me because it does actually shine a light on a little bit where they're going in the last 30 days 81 homes sold under list price in Calgary 38 homes sold over list price in Calgary and 191 homes sold over ask price in Calgary so very wild market here it is very important that you realize what you're getting into when you're looking at the under ask price homes there are quite a bit of them here which is great there's 81 of them you can see quite a few of them have a longer days on market you know you're inching up between 20 and 30 plus days on market which is allowing you these opportunities to win the deals the at ask is a little bit all over the place um, you can see quite a bit more expensive product at this market which is still relatively good and then for the 191 this is fascinating for me to see so when we look at this here this is organized in a way that it is the last 30 days sorry it's organized in a way that it's only showing the most recent sale on today march 5th when i'm recording this at eight o'clock at night so a lot of these things i want to point out okay not a lot of unconditional offers but there's still quite a bit in the last let's just say five days of sales quite a few days on market are very low you can see a couple of zeros a couple ones a couple threes it's very important to realize the game plan that you're getting into a lot of these homes from this quick view you can see the majority of them in my opinion by looking at this quickly are in that mid to high 400,000 mid to high 400,000 dollar range meaning it is a very attractive range when you look at these percentages there's quite a bit of larger percentages as an example we look at line 4 we've got a 450,000 dollar townhouse that sold for 510 within 3 days let's look at line 23 you had a 499 townhouse listed for 499 end up selling for 540 okay this is not to instill fear this is just to showcase to you that if you are looking at getting into the market it is very important to realize if you're looking at new product you want to make sure that you have a game plan in place yes we can look back at these 81 that sold under list price and that's fantastic i want you to find something that you're happy with at a good price but if you're looking at this product we need to make sure that we're being a little bit more strategic as to why we're going under list price right i don't want you to get burnt beat up bruised and battered i want to make sure that you're getting into this market efficiently so townhouses in calgary are now listed at $436,500, up almost 19% year over year, or a $70,000 increase. One month, townhouses in Calgary saw a $10,000 increase, which is pretty wild, and I would imagine that we're going to continue to see that all throughout the year. So let's remember benchmark attributes for the benchmark price, two bed, two, uh, two, bed, two full bath, one half bath, 1160 square foot. It has that single attached garage. It does uh, have a poured concrete foundation and built in 2004. Now, as you'll see in future slides, this will change on each individual quadrant as each individual quadrant was built in a different era and they have more, um, more product of a certain attribute than others. So let's just look to see what the Calgary Real Estate Board has written about townhouses. Pause the video, read it on your own or skip to the next chapter. New listings rose to 475 units in February, contributing to a year to date increase in new listings of 22%. Not bad. The rise in new listings supported sales growth, preventing any significant change to the low inventory situation. For the second consecutive month, the months of supply were below one month. The exponentially tight market conditions have contributed to a strong price growth for row properties in February. The unadjusted de detached again. The unadjusted detached price reached 436,500. Kreb, what's up? Proofread. Over 2% higher than last month and over 19% higher than levels reported last year. Um, I swear they use the same sentence in every one, so I'm not even going to read what it write, uh, wrote down there. Um, what I would like to touch on 
it's really good to see new listings increased. It's really, really nice to see the increase to, to of 22% to 457 units to try to combat these crazy high price increases. But even with the new listings, we're still seeing ridiculously tight market conditions, meaning that those new listings are getting eaten up fairly fast. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Going back to this chart here, you can see that little bit of a slowdown. You can see basically October, it saw an increase in November, then it dropped down in December, January, it stayed flat. And now in February, we're continuing to increase again. If you look at the sales versus the inventory in both January and February, there were more sales than there are leftover homes at the end of the month. And in my opinion, that is a very clear indicator that there is a lot of demand for this specific type of property. You can see that there was roughly from April all the way to October sales outpaced inventory. November, for whatever reason, slowed right down. December sped back up. And then we're now starting to uh, take off again. So. I would say more or less that the townhouse market, it's a very safe bet to say that they're going to increase quite a bit in 2024. So this chart here is the same data, just in a numerical form. You can see the sales and listings inventory, the days on market is 20, which is very low. You can see that it is reflecting uh, basically from March all the way to September of last year. It's a very hot, fast moving market. That's including the condition period and the move-in day. A lot of things are going off market within 30 days, which is absolutely insane. Um, you could see that the uh, benchmark price as well as the median and average price are all increasing at rapid rates. And um, yeah, that's pretty much that for that. So this chart here, we can see that this is the total sales volume for Calgary in the townhouse sector. So last year we had over 200 million. Now we have over 294 million, a 47% increase year to date. You can see that the new listings, thank God they increased. You can see that the uh, inventory has decreased by 12%. You can see that the months of supply is down quite a bit to 0.87, which is pretty crazy for an entire property type to be at 0.87. Um, the sales to new listing ratio is up. It's fairly the same from last year. The sales to new listing price is at 101%. Now at the beginning, some people will say, oh, he's just trying to instill fear. No, that's the way that this is working. 101%, meaning that the majority of listings going on the market are selling over list price. I don't think that's any surprise to anyone. Yes, there are deals to be had. There's 81 or 85 properties that sold under ask. You just need to find the deals and you gotta be kind of smart with how you actually present that offer. You can see the days on market is 24 days. So it's down 32% uh, year to date, which is, it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very hot. So here's a month of inventory. I, I might even just stop showing this for a little bit, to be honest with you, because it's kind of the same every single month. We're trending down. Uh, the months of supply is down. The, the trend is very low. It's going to be very tight all throughout 20, 2024. I would hope that in 2025, we're going to see some increasing um, across the city, but we just have to wait and see because 2024 is going to be a very busy year. Now, this is the months of supply in general. So you can see that the, the slowest quadrant is city center, which is at 1.2, 1.3 months of supply, followed by Northwest as well Southeast, but they're all hovering around less than a month. Half a month of supply is a very tight market. If you're looking at getting into the market, I cannot stress it enough. It is very important that you realize what you're getting into. So the benchmark price here, just kind of showcasing the price points across the entire city. Again, you can see that city center is the most expensive. Everything else is hovering around, you know, let's just say 380 to 400 minus the more affordable area of Calgary, which is east, which is a little bit less desirable compared to other areas. Reach out and ask why that is. And then let's all remember there's benchmark attributes. I talk about it every time. I just want to make sure that people understand it. So if we look at South and Southeast on this price point chart here, now we look at this, which is the Southeast and South um, attributes. So let's take a quick peek. So you've got uh, above grade bedrooms in Southeast at two with two total bedrooms in general. Uh, South actually has three total bedrooms and they're all above grade. Okay, you've got one full bathroom and one half bath in South, where you have two full bathrooms and one half bath in Southeast. You, uh, in Southeast, you have a double car garage. In South, you have a single car garage. In Southeast, you have roughly around the same square footage. The biggest difference is in Southeast, it was built in 2011, and South was 1981. Now, if you followed along with that, kudos to you, because I just jumped around that like absolutely ridiculous. So sorry for that. That was a little bit of a, a thing, uh, lots to, to grasp there. So very important to realize that even though South is cheaper than Southeast for the benchmark price, we need to make sure that if you put the attributes of Southeast in South, South is going to be more expensive. The land value in South is going to be a little bit more expensive as a whole compared to Southeast. Now, 
Obviously, you've got places like uh, Seton, Cranston, Mahogany, which are very sought after. They're very expensive. But in South, you have um, really nice places really close to uh, Fish Creek Park. You've got really close to the sea train, really close to amenities. So the land values in South, in my personal opinion, are a little bit more expensive as a whole. So what does that mean for you? Now, if you're curious of what your townhouse is worth, this is for my homeowners out there, my investors. If you are interested in knowing what it's worth, go ahead and try out this instant home evaluation AI software. It's very, very cool. You put your address in right away. It spits out an instantaneous home evaluation. Within seconds, you'll get an email. Yes, of course, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna introduce myself, I'm gonna thank you for using the service. If you don't want anything, that's fine. But at least you get the value of knowing quickly what this, what the, um, property is and you don't really have to have any questions or answer anything this is a service for you to try out so thank you very much for all of the people that have done it already so this is the microeconomic breakdown this is what a lot of people have been waiting for so this is a really good view of the individual quadrants of calgary each individual quadrant paints its own picture so you've got the sales the new listings, the sales to new listings ratio, okay? A lot of things are hovering around that 80% price point. You can see that city center is actually all the way down to 64, as well as so Northwest at 65. So interestingly enough, you can see that there was only 28 sales in Northwest versus the 43 new listings, which is, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy actually because you'd think that northwest is fairly sought after now it's a little bit more of an expensive community so maybe that has something to do with it you can see that the inventory or the uh, leftover homes at the end of the month is quite low across the entire city uh, the months of supply is under one month of supply for every quadrant like we spoke on minus city center which is still 1.28 which is still a very strong seller's market you can see that these are the pricing the prices for each individual quadrant. You can see places like Northeast as well as South as well as East still at a lower, more affordable value, right? If you look at East, it's it's kind of crazy to me that we're still looking at townhouses priced at 274,000. Now, you need to remember that the townhouses are gonna be a lot different in East Calgary when you compare them to West Calgary or Northwest Calgary. So doing the research, going to the MLS, looking at the product itself, is very important. Plus, in East Calgary, there isn't very much to choose from. There was 11 sales, 11 new listings, and only six, six left over at the end of the month. So it's it, they move pretty quick. Um, year over year, price growth. I mean, you can see, again, East Calgary saw 37% increase. So that's pretty wild. You can see uh, all of the month over month. And then the actual numerical value, which I'll really reveal now. Every single quadrant saw increases. Quite a few saw double digit increases. City Center saw 16. Northwest saw over 10. South saw over 10. Southeast saw over 12. On average, there was a $10,000 increase in one month, which is pretty crazy. And I would imagine we're probably going to see something similar all throughout the year. Um, it's a very hot market out there. It's very important that you realize what you're getting into. I just can't stress it enough. So with that being said, where's the Calgary market going? Where's townhouses going to trend in 2024? This chart here is a very clear indicator, in my personal opinion, of what we have coming for us. You can see at the beginning of 2022, we had a sharp increase and then a very dramatic slowdown. If you actually go back to my 2022 market report, I think probably in like November-ish, I actually praised that this was like a picture perfect moment for Calgary when they raised interest rates so much that everything in the townhouse market basically died right out. We saw a small correction and people thought that was it for Calgary. The high interest rates, that was it. I read reports, I thought it myself in a sense that we were going to see a slowdown. 2023 smash past every single record. Um, go look at my forecast report. I kind of joke about higher than ex or what was it higher than expected or something like that. The 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 current forecast said that a lot. And in 2024, I would imagine we're probably going to see pretty gnarly increases. I would not be a bit surprised if we go past $500,000 in Q3. I'm kind of calling it out now. If we go in the same direction that we're in, I would imagine we're probably going to hit $500,000 in Q3, a $200,000 gain from 2021 for the townhouse market here in Calgary. So I don't know if it's going to happen, but from what I see, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. So if you're going to get in the market in Q3 of this year, just be prepared that things are probably going to be a little bit more expensive than what they are right now. So if you have any questions, go ahead and reach out. My call link is in the description. I appreciate everyone who sticks through these. I've gotten really great comments from people saying that they're very detailed oriented, and I appreciate that. If you want to see anything different, maybe like some news reports or something like that, let me know. Comment below. I read all the comments. I reply to all the comments, and I appreciate everyone who shows their support. So thank you very much. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.